get deep enough into it, you do see that it's just a conversion of mind, and that's and so it doesn't take years for that. It takes mm -hmm. one instant, and and also it's got to the point with me that like when I travel now, it used to be years ago that I did all Course in Miracles, even though I did it in many different settings, bookstores and basements and beaches and backyards and whatever, conferences. Uh, and now actually I. People that are involved with uh, Power of Now, Eckhart Tolle, uh, Conversation with God, even um, Enlightened by the Veda Vedanta, you know, it just seems like the invitations come. They're interested in enlightenment, they're interested in self realization, they're interested in awakening. Mm -hmm. And it's great, it's a, more and more there's a, a real mix that shows up at the gatherings instead of just one particular path. Mm -hmm. I'm familiar enough with those and with the, the metaphysics and so forth that it's, that's what makes it fun. It can be a free-ranging, open discussion where I say, raise anything you want, raise any issue, raise anything you want, and we'll look at it together. Uh, and it takes it away from Course in Miracles per se, because, I don't know, that's what uh, Sherry was just saying. She said, oh, it's so refreshing to see you sitting there teaching, and I haven't had that book along with me. For years I carried it around, uh, just read it, read it, carried it around. You know, I will join with you in conversation about your belief system and your concepts and your attachments. And that's really helpful. Most people, I think everyone I meet is pretty well aware already. They know what their attachments are. They don't really fully understand the extent of, of why they still seem to be so attached and addicted to whatever they're holding on to. But they do, they can start to identify things. For some it's, it's a geographical location that they just cannot leave. They're mm -hmm. so attached. For some it's family or children. For some it's jobs. They feel like they have the ideal job and um, they're earning good money and uh, they're not going to give that job up even though it's not security at all. That's pseudo right. security and just like everything else in this world it can be wiped away like the Enron thing. <laughs> If I had pensions that they really thought were secure, really were banking on them, gone <laughs> in an instant. And you know, and that's the way it goes with everything in this world. So when you start to really see that, uh, like Janis Joplin said, freedom's just another word for nothing left to lose. <laughs> Isn't that, that, is that gorgeous? <laughs> yeah, get, when you get to that point, it's like... That was Janis Joplin? Yeah, I think that well, was, it was a song. That was a song that she did. But the song yeah, that was the song that she sang. It's kind of like we're down, we're out, and we've got to, we can't yeah. go any lower. And and that's really not the no. state of mind. The, the state of mind of enlightenment is is not you can't go any lower. <laughs> I, have, I have everything. Yeah. It's like mm -hmm. you, there's no higher or lower to go. It's just that you have everything, right? And that's that's why there's nothing left to lose. Not yeah. that you've kind of reached such a dark bottom. Like for. You know, I, I feel like I'm always on vacation or always working, however people want to look at it. I'm always yeah. in the moment, so I don't right. see a difference between work and leisure. Because okay. my mind is is tuned into God's function, and that is my work and my leisure. <laughs> yeah. And so it's all, the duality melds together. But, for someone who still believes in this world, still has a job, still works mm -hmm. quite a few hours or quite a few days and weeks of the year, a vacation is a very helpful thing. Right. Uh, because they still believe in the dichotomy between my time and their time. Uh, work and leisure, you know, right. there's still a dichotomy. <laughs> For you folks at home, this is how we start off with our blogs. We have to punch in all the numbers. Yes. This one for you. Is there audio on there too? Mm -hmm. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Hi, Hi there, we're live from Pizza Hut. We're posting this around the world. Yes. Today, the audio. And I we, love you. Uh, Sherry's next to me saying I love you is into the camera. <laughs> we're at Pizza Hut. We're just having a great time. And Claire is recording the first video uh, blog. Uh, this is a video blog. We'll, we'll, I'm sure it'll appear later on, maybe in a DVD or somewhere. There we'll work it in somewhere, but this is, we're having such a good time. And anyway, I am going to pass the phone around now. We have Sherry with us, and she's been just shining her light. We've been in the car, 
And she was shining her light yesterday at the gathering, and now she's shining it with us as we drive through rural Wisconsin. And uh, anyway, here's Sherry. Hi, everybody. This is Sherry. I love you. Uh, we're having so much fun just being here, being ourselves, letting it loose. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, oh boy, are we ever lucky! Um, and Claire's over there with the camera in my face. And this is my first blog ever. I've never heard of a blog before, but this is really something. Um, I'm glad you're tuning in and um, take care. <laughs>